Okay, so this is where we're at. Just gonna get rid of the smooth modifier here and pull down a couple of these points here. Now, important to know, you know, kind of where I'm heading with this is the fact that, you know, I'm just kind of teaching you topology and, you know, how to, how to look at it and how to change it, how to move it around uh, without really any kind of fear or retribution. Um, one thing that you should also note is, you know, I'm developing this for, uh, it could be a video game if you want, but um, it's getting kind of high res for that. Mainly the lesson here is more about topology and less about game art. But um, to bridge the gap between game art and that, I would say, let's say here, for example, if I had this character open here, okay, in a game, I'm going to be able to see right up his nose and right through his head, right? Because that's how it goes. So. I'm probably going to end up plugging that gap again. And I just wanted to open that hole up to begin with just to throw some edge loops in this area. But now that I have the area sealed off and the topology fixed, I can now bridge that gap again and fill that hole. Okay, So those are things that you have to just kind of think about. Okay, in this case, I want to make sure that Everything is joined, and it looks pretty much joined. And apply that, and then start um, sealing this gap up again. Now I could do that in a couple different ways. I think I'll choose the easiest way and bridge the two largest polygons first by hitting F. And then setting an edge loop here, here, and then doing a merge at first. So I'm just sewing back up the nose. There we go. So you can see, I have a bad habit of destroying these things at every turn. There's a lone point out there, so I'll get rid of that. There we go. So now I have that ability to not look through the nose of the character. So also I have this section at the bottom that kind of needs a little bit of uh, help. So, you know, this hole isn't that big. Turn on the no double wall feature here and let's uh, First, go in here and smooth some of these vertices out just to get out which ones I need. And let's try to seal this a little bit more. First, by doing that. by doing this and then in
There we go. And then fix all your flow that's going around here. Again, I'm going to keep this opening just a little bit, not much. This you wouldn't see, so that would attach inside the base of the spine. Okay, well, now, again, bridging the gap between, you know, topology, game versus topology, just for the fact of learning topology, I would say, uh, let's look at the teeth, and what would that be? Well, I'm going to go with a sculpted approach for the teeth rather than a hardline approach. So the hardline approach being if if I developed the teeth, they would be individual teeth, and um, that would be not too handy for um, game. So I'm going to go with a sculpted approach, which is, you know, in this area I would have something, and then I would sculpt on it and then I would rely on normal mapping for it. Okay. Again, I'm just kind of seeing a few things here. That I want to change. And it's always at a constant state of change, right? So just fixing up some flow things, things that nobody's ever going to see, but oh well. Okay, now I got that. Now I'm just going to put that bottom jaw back on. Jump into one. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, so I do have to seal some deals on this this bottom jaw. So I'm going to hide the top part. Start working on this bottom jaw a little bit. Namely, you can see the change in the background, but here it doesn't represent it well. It's too terminator jaw like. It needs to be more flowy. Okay, this is still under a modifier, a mere modifier. And since this is double walled, Gonna have to be kind of careful on flow with this thing. Okay, so I'm moving this back. Looks like it lines up pretty good here. Turn on that feature so I can get all of it. There we go.
And you can see some of this, you know, it really helps to have an anatomy skull handy. Unfortunately, mine's at work, but, um, you know, one thing about image planes is the fact that, you know, you, you lose a lot of depth here that I'm missing out on. Uh, like this area right here, I kind of know that it, it forms a little bit differently than this. There we go. So I'm just flowing those out. There we go. That looks a lot better. So now you can see that those match up quite well. Do a side view, front view, do some wireframe, make sure everything is looking kosh. Maybe moving these back just a little bit, not much. All right, well, the teeth go like this. So I'm going to apply this mirror modifier so I can get the teeth. Same with the bottom jaw. Switch back in the solid so you can see what I'm doing. So bottom jaw, I'm just going to apply that mirror modifier. In the next video, I'm going to just basically steal some anatomy or steal some faces from this in order to make up those teeth.